Hello guys, the DB Grinder here back at again with another video and this time it's UDC Eduardo Fernandez with 1116 rating versus Mini Fez with 1550 rating so it's going to be another high rated DB video and let's hop right in. Uh, we're going to see Mini Fez win the rock paper scissors shoot. Most likely he's going to go first, 40 versus 40. Yep, he goes first. Opening hand is Heritage, Rhoda, Smoke, O-Lion, Red Lair. Sucks to draw these two. Uh, the other three cards are all just like extenders. Um, could also add like connector with this if you wanted to. Then he has Pot of Avarice, Ram Ram, Thoroughblade, Valor, Nib. Uh, so he has two good hand traps. This one's really impactful, especially against this deck. Uh, then like the blade and ram ram that's gonna give him a draw one as long as he is like not afraid to play in the ogre uh, he's not so he's gonna draw one draws whip tail uh, that gets the ram ram engrave which is good for chalk and nine goes for hammer kong goes for chalk and nine effects bring back hammer kong then goes for tiger mortar effects equip the ram ram the hammer kong then goes for Dryden. This does play in the nib, but uh, like I was saying with the Eldish deck, uh, the Eldish Synchro deck, right now I think it's okay to play in the nib since nobody's main decking it. Uh, I mean, that could change within like even the next couple days if everyone just starts main decking nib. Uh, but like right now, I think it's okay to play into a game one. Uh, draw Durandal, another like extender. Activates a. Adds Ogier. And then he's going to special summon out Red Lair. Normal summon and activate effect. He's going to send Gear Freed. And then uses Heritage to add Renod. And then special summon Renod. Renod effect to add back Gear Freed. Banish Durandal, bring out Gear Freed. Uses Smoke Grenade on Gear Freed. Like. Dryden plus Nib is so underrated. Like it, it's honestly so strong. I think it would just like beat this deck's like full combo because they could set up like a Savage or a Herald before they full combo. But you could just Dryden effect target that. They go okay in the gate. You just go okay chain chain Nib. Just tribute everything anyways. Oh, uh, he's gonna go into a Sold. The Sold effect to add adds Red Lair. Yeah, he's going to try doing it now. He's going to dry it in effect. Target Gear Freed. Or Sold. I couldn't tell which one he was targeting there. Uh, then he's going to summon out Nib. Uh, after that, Negates. And he gets zero attack and defense from his board. Because these guys are question marks. Uh, so, it's gaining a whole bunch of attack. 51 attack and 22 defense. Or 24 defense, I meant. Uses Rhoda, adds Oliver, and then special summon Oliver by sending Red Lair. Then goes in the Needle. Um, yeah, he's gonna Valor the Needle effect. He doesn't want him like going into like Ring Link Cross and like Formula, getting a free draw for nothing. Even though, like, leaving this on board does kind of suck because I get to bring out Roland on your turn and activate the effect. But, um, that's okay. It's better than letting them have a draw on their turn and maybe getting an extender just to keep going. Draws Cosmic. Uses Avarice. Yeah, he has little monsters in Grave. So he's going to put back the extra deck monsters. And then a Thoroughblade. Draws Phantasm and Ecclesia. Uh, the Ecclesia is going to be a really good draw. The Phantasm is like a decent draw. Like any hand trap would just be better. Normal Summon Whiptail goes for Hammer Kong. And then goes for Dryden in defense. Uses the effect on Needle. Needle effect. Bring out Coral Dragon. Goes for Chalk and Nine. Chalk and Nine effect to bring back Dryden. Then goes for Tiger Mortar. I don't know why he's not summoning one of these in attack. He's going to use that effect on Dryden. Oh, he's going to use the effect on 
what? Oh, okay. I'm so confused what's happening here. So he's using Tiger Mortar, Detach Whiptail to equip the Dryden. But wouldn't you want Whiptail effect this turn to banish the Coral Dragon so that way he doesn't get a draw? Like, simply just so by, like, putting this in attack. Uh, he's gonna, I think that's kind of greedy. Like, going for the piercing for 2,000 instead of just using, like, Tiger Mortar with the Whiptail under it to banish. Like, letting him have a draw for 2,000 damage when they're at 8k, that's, uh, I don't think that's worth it. Unless if he just, like, has game here. Special Summon Ecclesia effects. Add Punishment, definitely not game. Battle Phase, Ecclesia, Beat Over Coral, let him draw one. I'm gonna hate that he got that draw one this entire game. Or this entire match. So that's a free connector, that should have been his draw for turn. And that being a draw for turn would have just not worked, because he could have just Punishment popped the connector and the Aqua Dolphin that he summoned. Set Cosmic, set Punishment, pass. I wonder what the extra X looking like for this deck now that it has to play like Dogmatica stuff and the Drill. And then soon it's going to have to play another new extra card. Um, the Drill didn't end up mattering there, but yeah, definitely should have just banished it. Moving on to game two, we're going to see Warriors go first, one of the scariest decks that go first. The opening in is Heritage, Reborn, Nib, a Pointer, Rota. It's a really good hand. He has a Pointer, and this just, like, rips the opponent's hand. We saw him playing the Nib multiple times last game, uh, so odds are he's going to do it again, unless if he's not going to because it's post-side deck. Uh, but then, like, Starter, Extender... Extender, then he has Avarice, Thoroughblade, Ecclesia, Nib, Tanky, Nib, very, very good uh, hand trap that this deck has a hard time with, because <clears throat> they can't just, like, talents it out of hand, uh, because this is just the only hand trap you activate, um, they can't connect her to Aqua Dolphin out of hand, because that's 3k attack, so you have to have, like, Gear Freed on board, um, but if you have Gear Freed on board, that's, like, the out for Nib, so it's kind of pointless at that point um you, you get it nib's really good rota at og and then like you can't call by it unless there's already one in grave uh normal summon uses effect he's gonna send gear freed and then heritage add durandal and then durandal to grab renod and then renod summon to grab back gear freed And then he's going to link these two away into a sold. Alright, summons out Gear Freed. Goes into a sold. Effect the add, adds red layer. Yeah, so you could just like made a sold, use effect the add, and then summon Gear Freed. But this way it works too. And then OG equipped the Gear Freed, and then that's his out the nib. Uh, and then he's going to dump two. Bring out Jenba. Then go for Link Cross effects. Summon out the tokens. Then goes in the metal. Metal effect to bring back the Jenba. He's gonna drop Nib. He's gonna gear free negate. Summon Tatsunoko. He's waiting. Oh, yeah. Imagine, like, chain link one nib, gear free chain link two, Valor chain link three. That would have just, like, crushed this board. Go for Savage. Savage equip a sold. Then go for Needle. Needle effect, bring out Jet. Honestly, if I was, like, mini Fez, probably just admit defeat. This is just too hard to beat. Unless if you have like Dark Ruler and you hope that you top deck it. Mechum Phantom Beast, bring out three tokens. Then go for O-Line. But if there's no Dark Ruler, then I just admit defeat. Uh, go for Rollin, Rollin, O-Line. Because this board is just too hard. Especially with like the follow-ups that it has too. Goes for Omega, Reborn on Jet. Then goes for Charles, then banish two, add back blade, discard blade, bring out Jet, go for Harold. And 
then set a pointer end phase dump so he's not going for smoke oh no he has it engraved I'm dumb I'm dumb I, I was looking like right here for the spells I like missed over it yeah definitely going for smoke you have to then clips all over you can side this out when you're going second but when you're going first this is the reason that you play this deck uh, grenade's gonna hit Thoroughblade. Weird that he chooses Thoroughblade over Tanky. I guess because he doesn't want him normal summoning it. And then just attacking over Herald, which is fair. Draws Phantasma, he's gonna pointer, and then that's gonna be an admit defeat. Uh, moving on to game three. We're gonna see Zoo Dogmatica go first. Uh, the opening hands are Reborn, Evenly, Durandal, Renaud, Nib. Hopefully his opponent doesn't play in the Nib. I don't think he's going to because it's game three. Uh, but you never know. Like if he ends up going for like Hammer Kong, Dryden, Ecclesia. Like that's uh, it's more than five summons. But other than that, like this hand's not bad. Uh, the Nib and Evenly, I could see hurting each other. But if your opponent has a Dryden up and you try beating over it, they're going to pop Nib, then drop evenly. Uh, then he has Ecclesia, Tanky, Judgment, Token Collector, Punishment. Uh, this is like an extremely good hand. Like if his opponent just didn't have like Nib, like whoa. This hand would actually just be nuts. Has like everything. Uh, tanky. I mean it would be better if there was like, no Ecclesia or Punishment, and there was like a Servant instead, but you can't get everything. It's gonna add Whiptail, normal Whiptail, go for Hammer Kong, go for Dryden, special summon out Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect. That's gonna add Knight, so he's playing around Nib, which is really smart. Uh, it's not, yeah, only four summons. Uh, he's gonna have Judgment, Punishment, draws Astolfo. It's so, uh, not a terrible draw, better than like an O-Lion. He's going to end the battle phase, drop evenly. He's going to get hit with Judgment. Then main phase 2, Durandal. He's going to use the effect, add Ogier. And then normal summon, he's going to use the effect of it. He's going to send Gear Freed. Um, he's thinking here, he's going to Dryden Pop. Force an extender right here um, because he thinks that he has Renaud and then he's going to summon Renaud and add back Gear Freed. It's not bad. This is definitely a good read. Uses Reborn on Gear Freed and then Ogier to equip. He's going to summon Knight to negate Gear Freed. So even though this gets equipped, this has no negate this turn. Uh, and then summon out Renaud, Renaud effect, that's going to add back to Randall. And then he's just going to pass. Passing turn. I guess he just like knows that there's got to be like a set punishment because he added Knight. Uh, so you can kind of like read that, or it's gonna be another hand trap. Like if he goes for a sold, that he's gonna get stopped some way or another. So he's just gonna pass, and then he's gonna get his monster to get back. Uh, draws Ecclesia, so he's playing multiple Ecclesia. Interesting. Knight beat over Gear Freed. You figure a deck like this would just be playing one Ecclesia, one Knight, one Punishment, three Servant. Uh, just like to have the engine in deck. You don't want to draw like two of like any of them. You don't want to like draw like an Ecclesia and Knight when going second because it just makes it so hard to break a board. So, I'm confused what just happened there. Okay, so he's going to gear free to negate Knight. Alright. Uh, and then Ecclesia beats over the Renaud. 
surprised he didn't just try to beat over Renault to get it banished. It, I don't know. It seems like he's just not using Whiptail to its fullest extent. Because he could have banished, uh, like, the Coral Dragon game one. Could have banished the Renault here. Uh, it's definitely better to, like, banish your opponent's stuff than to not banish the stuff. Uh, then he's going to attack. Like, it, I don't know, it'd be more damage, too, if he would have just, uh, Dryden attacked the Renaud, and then Ecclesia attacked direct. Uh, makes Chalk a 9, Chalk a 9 effect, bring back Dryden, it goes for Tiger Mortar, Tiger Mortar effect, equip Whiptail to Dryden. Then goes for Drill Driver. Special summons Ecclesia, so this is playing in the node. An Ecclesia effect to add punishment. He's playing two punishment? I feel, nah, I feel like that's really bad. Just because, like, it locks you out of extra deck. That's a lot to commit to. This is a big dogmatica engine. And it just locks you out of the extra deck. And that's, like, all that Zoo can do. Like, Zoo without an extra deck is just terrible. It's like a 1200 beat stick. Um, so the nib's gonna get dropped, and he's just gonna pass turn, like an avarice for him would be huge, draws panker tops, so it's not gonna do anything here, uh, activates Durandal, Durandal, add Renaud, then normal summon Astolfo, special summon out Renaud, Renaud effect to add back your freed. Banish Durando, bring out Gear Freed, then Ogier effect to equip the Gear Freed. On summon, he's going to use Punishment. He's going to send Elder, so he's going to pop probably Renaud. And then Elder, pop Gear Freed. That's strong. Um, yeah, he doesn't really have access to anything now. He's going to Link into lambda you don't really see warriors play this that's interesting uh, I think this card's like cool and eldish if you're playing like pure eldish with like goes and match and stuff because it's a light uh, banish astolfo to activate its effect he's gonna draw a rat it's not gonna do anything because of the punishment uh, but the nib token is gonna be huge it's gonna beat over the lambda and then pass turn. Now the Panker Tops can be summoned. The Midfield Breaker's not going to do anything here. It would have been really good a while ago, though. Um, he's just going to admit defeat. Which I don't think is the right thing to do. I mean, you don't even know if your opponent has a Zoo card. Or if these are just hand traps. Um, I would have stayed in it. Honestly. Like, if you draw... Like, if, you, if your opponent, let's just say they have, like, two token collectors in hand and they draw a third for turn. Like, they just have, like, the worst hand possible and they just, like, attack with the token. You pink or tops pop it. You draw a connector for turn. You activate midfield breaker. You normal summon connector and boom, you win. I don't know. I would have stayed in, but I guess he's going to admit defeat. I think it's still cool to see, like, Zoo, Dogmatica. I think it's a cool deck. I'm probably going to end up trying it out. Um... I don't think I'm going to play as much Dogmatica stuff. It seems like kind of hurts the Zoo stuff. I don't know. I'll find out when I try building it though. But that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off. Peace.